Alright, this is actually the second example for problem solving strategy number one, drawing a picture or diagram. So if we look at this particular example, it's on rod measures. So the length of these rods are 6cm, 9cm and 11cm. How can you use these rods to measure 14cm? So for this particular example, as you can tell, it is a bit difficult to visualize 14cm using these three rods. So we will have to draw a diagram to help us visualize this. Okay, so let's start to draw a diagram. So we can see that I will first attempt to draw a 6cm. So let's say this is 6cm. Then I will draw a 9cm. So this is 9cm. Then I will draw an 11cm that will be on the other side. So let's say this is 11cm. So I will know that this particular gap, if I calculate, will be 15 minus 11, which will be 4cm. So this is actually the first diagram that I have drawn because I have line 6cm and 9cm together and 11cm on the other side. So if I think about it, if I have three rods, how many rods can I actually line two of them together? I actually have three combinations. So let's draw the diagram for all three combinations. So for the second diagram, I'm going to line 6cm. So let's say this is 6cm. And I'm going to line 11cm. Then the third one, 9cm, will be on the other side. So this will be 9cm. So what is this particular gap over here? Will be 17 minus 9, which will be 8cm. So this particular setup will allow me to measure 8cm. So the last way that I can do it is if I line 11 cm and 9 cm together. So this is 11 cm and this is 9 cm and I line and on the, the other side it will be 6 cm. So this is 6 cm. So this region over here will be 20 minus 6 equals to 14 cm. Okay, and this setup will be my answer. So, my answer will be setup number 3. So, for this particular question, when the question asks, how can you use this rod to measure 14 cm? So, I will do it by lining 11 cm and 9 cm on one side and 6 cm on the other side. Then, I can use this to measure 14 cm. Alright, so, this is problem solving strategy number 1. Drawing a picture or a diagram. And this is the second example, rod measures. Thank you.